guys, welcome to You can all video. What I need to do is I need to add a a node so I can connect to this Palo Alto. Um, so what we're going to be doing is we're going to add a new object. We're going to go to node. We are going to go to Docker.io, <coughs> and we are going to be selecting the um, Eve dash GUI server. You can either select the GUI server or the Firefox um, Docker image. Um, and I'm also going to make sure that I'm using RDB and that DHCP is off, right? It's off. So if it is checked, it is on. If it is unchecked, it is, um, if it is unchecked, it is off. So that's good. So now let's go ahead and connect it to the Palo Alto firewall. And we are going to be connecting to the management interface. Uh, and also what we're going to be doing is connecting to the interface zero uh, management interface right here in Palo Alto let's go ahead and save it okay so that is good that is good so what we are going to be doing right now is we need to configure the IP address for the doc this docker image and the way that you do that is you have to go to startup configs you have to select the docker image and over here what we need to do is we need to do an IP address add one that one that one that two slash 24 dev eth zero and we're going to do a pipe pipe true after that we need to go ahead and add the default route so we're going to add ip ip route at default via one that one that one that one pipe pipe true and after that is done you need to click on save and then let's go ahead and turn it on okay so now that Docker should have that um, should have that IP address, so that is good. Let's go ahead and start this Docker image. Uh, there we go. So now let's go ahead and launch it. As you can see right now, it is going to um, go and go into that server. We are going to open the browser, but before we do that, we need to go ahead and configure the Palo Alto. Um, firewall and the way that you it actually got a new IP address via DHCP we don't want to do that so let's go ahead and do config actually you need to do the entire command configure um, we need to do set um, device config we need to do system and we need to do type and this one's going to be static then we do set device config system we do IP dash address do it we add the IP address one the one the one the one net mask two for five that two for five that two for five that zero and then we do commit and that's going to save our configuration so every time you do something you need to save your configuration for it to be show right for, for it to work um, in Cisco um, you don't really have to do that in Cisco you have to save it um, just in case you reboot it or something but in Palo Alto whatever you configure you need to save it for it to work otherwise it won't work now we go exit then we do a show interface uh, management to see what we have there we go IP address is good let's go ahead and ping the host 1.1.1.2 see if we have connectivity and we do we are able to ping the this host over here so that's great now let's go ahead and go into the docker and we are going to go to HTTPS whack whack one that one that one that two which is it uh actually one that one that one that one that's the IP address of the Palo Alto as you can see right here it is saying me it is telling me that the self-signed certificate it is not trusted so we are just going to say advance the risk and continue and that's going to take me to the Palo Alto GUI and over here you just need to do admin pa username and password admin which is a default that I did not change there we go and that's going to log me in um, into the Palo Alto GUI where you can configure everything 
just like the SDM in Cisco, um, there is this um, GUI in Palo Alto, as you can as you can see right here. Um, just go ahead and close that, and uh, this is it for this video, guys. Um, we were able to reach that Palo Alto GUI um, via EVENG. Um, so this is it for this, for this video, guys. And if you guys enjoyed this video, why don't you guys go ahead and follow me on Twitter at CCNA Daily Tips. If you have a Twitter account, if you do not have a Twitter account, go ahead and create a Twitter account and then follow me on Twitter at CCNA Daily Tips. And if you guys enjoy this video, go ahead and like the button, hit the like button, subscribe to my channel, um, share this with your family member, like your mom, your dad, your granddad. Uh, your sister, your husband, to anybody. So thank you guys for watching, and I will see you on the next one, guys. Bye-bye.